Hi everyone and welcome back to our skill point video series. In the last episode, the first one we did, we made the skill point data assets as well as the starting making the component. We're going to continue working on the component today so we can add more variables and functions to manage our skill points. Let's take a look and how we do that. Okay, so here we are where we left off last time and we just done the skill points availability. Now we need to keep track of what skills we've actually earned. So we can go to variables here and we can do skills uh, assigned. And in here, we're going to have a map of different things. So we're going to have a map of the data asset for the skill, so DA skill. So I keep track of which skill we're talking about here. And the integer is going to refer to the rank of that skill. So if it's rank five, rank two, whatever, we'll get that there. Now, as I mentioned in the first episode, once you make a variable, you kind of want to make functions that are managing that variable. So skill assigned, let's make a new one here and do assign skill. And I'm going to drag out our map here, add to it. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to drag out the key and put it in there. I'm going to rename that to skill. And I just want to increment the number if it does already have a number. Okay. So for that, I need to find out if it does already have one in there. So if you have a skill assigned, we're going to go uh, find. I'm going to look for the skill, which is referring to this option here. And if it finds it, great. Otherwise, it would be zero or no, it would be like neg negative one if it's not true, I don't think. So we want to take this value here. And I want to do select int, plug in the boolean, which basically means if it's true, it's going to pick the A value. If it's false, it'll pick the B value. So if it's found it it's, and it's true, I'm going to take the value here and add one to it. Like that. Otherwise, B will just be one. Compile. And there we go. Okay, so now I want to make another one where I'm going to do a unassigned skill. Unassign skill. So in this case, we're going to take the skill there, and I want to do something very similar, really. I can probably copy most of it. Copy all of that, put it in here. But instead of this one, we want it to be a takeaway one rather than uh, just what, uh, the add one. So we take the value, subtract one. Right. Now I need to know what skill we want. So we're going to have the input there too. like that and we assign that value there like that. okay so it's going to find the skill and it's going to take the value of it take one away and then reset it back to it however it's not going to do zero or one or new value on one because we're going to be taking away values so i want to just put that out and just put in negative one there now, we do need to do a query to make sure we can actually remove a, the possible skill. If we try to remove a skill that we don't have, we don't really want this to happen. So we're going to make a third function, which can be called query skill. And we're going to take skill assigned, bind, and we're going to find the key, call it skill, and we're going to do a return node in here. So we're going to return these two values. So we're going to return uh, the the tier, the rank, and whether or not it was found it or not. And this is because it's a query, just getting information, not doing anything else. We can make this pure. We get the most up-to-date information. So back on the unassigned skill, we're going to drag in our query skill, plug it into our parameter there. And in here, we're going to check to make sure the rank here is above zero. We can't unassign a skill we don't have. Take the rank here. It's greater than zero. 
go down to a branch. And if it's true, it will allow it to be unassigned. Okay. And this is the sort of pattern you should follow whenever you add a new variable to think about what functions those variables should need. Okay. So various things we got there. Okay. Okay. So now we need to go look at our sign skill option. Because we do have the ability to add an ability to a skill. And we want to award that ability to the player when we get that. So when we assign the skill, we want to make sure we get the ability and check to see if it's a, a, a valid value. So we can go and get ability and convert that to a validated get here at the end of assign skill. If that is true and it is valid, we want to assign this ability to the player character. And the ability to be stored on another component that belongs to your player character. So just so we've got um, it in there, let's just add a empty component here. AC abilities. And this will have a function in here. Add ability. Reference. And that'd be stored like a variable list, a ability list or whatever. However, you're uh, you're managing it on whatever system you're doing. But just so we can assign something here, make it an array and just add it to the array. So we're not going to do an ability system in this series, but. This is where you'd insert your own ability stuff. Anywho, once we've got the ability on the assign skill valid, we need to get the component for the player character. Very easy to do. Just get player character. And we want to get component by a class. And we're going to search for our abilities component. And we're going to do add ability to that component. That should be, oh, I didn't change it back over, did I? Let's go back to the data asset. Uh, data, data asset. Yeah, I didn't change this back to um, BP ability. Yeah. Oh, our reference. There we are. Obviously, if it doesn't exist and don't have one, it's not going to do anything. Okay. So, there's our skill being assigned and awarding an ability if it has one assigned to it. So I think we're done here for now on the actor component for the skills. Uh, we just need to add our skills and ability components to our player character. So let's go to the player character. I'm going to add the skill component and the ability component. And there we go. So with our components done, we can now start work on our UI. So in the next part, we're going to start work on our UI, the individual slots for our skill tree, and then start talking about how these things all connect together. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. You can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. A massive thank you to all our patrons and YouTube members for the continued support, and thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.